Okay, I just want to show this about uh, pink Himalayan salt. It's pink because it has sand in it. Not like you you take some sand, put it in a bowl, and mix in sand with it. No, the sand and silt is within the sand grains. It's within it. Okay, so you can do this. Take some Himalayan salt. I've done this a couple times to show people to prove a point. <clears throat> I'm not anti-Himalayan salt at all. Uh, but I just don't use it anymore for stuff like salads or brushing my teeth because you're, you're getting these micro agates under your gums in your system. Uh, you put it on the salad, you can detect the grit. Uh, okay, so let me explain how to do this. Take some simula Himalayan salt. This is about, oh, not even a quarter of a cup. And I dumped it in about a half a gallon of warm water to dissolve the, the sand and let the, uh, let the sand settle to the bottom and dissolve the salt into solution. Okay, let it settle. Let it settle for 10 minutes. And then pour the top of the water off cautiously without mixing it up like this. So pour most of the water out. <clears throat> Let it settle again because now it's been agitated. Pour, go, go like this and cautiously pour that clear water out. That is salt water there. Now, that, that salt water, if you, if you save that water and let the salt precipitate back out, it will be white. Okay? No salt is pink. It's pink because it has the sand in there. That's where you get your trace nutrients and minerals. Uh, you're kind of like eating dirt a little bit. Uh, so the salt comes from the drying ocean and lake beds with all kinds of chemicals that wash down. And so that is what it is. It's the dried ocean beds and lake beds with all kinds of chemicals in it. Okay, from hundreds of millions of years ago. That's what the salt is. So for normal salt, they dissolve it like this and then let the salt settle back out and then the salt is then pure. And so this stuff is discarded. Well, Him Himalayan salt, now that people are on the health thing, they started selling it. Normally they wouldn't. You don't bulldoze salt into jars and just put it in there as it's mined. You have to purify to get to get the stuff out. Some of those can be good, but also there's all kinds of chemicals in there. Um, now, let me show you, this is kind of a coincidence. This is sand I brought back from Simplet, well, I probably shouldn't say Simplet mining area because we're technically not supposed to be in there. But the sand, see, it's the same color. It looks just like Himalayan salt. Okay, now that's pure sand. And yes, it is uh, salty and, and has, uh, what's the other one, gypsum and stuff in there. Yes, but that's famous worldwide sand, by the way, because it's so pure. Uh, okay, that's, that's it. Do it. Do the test yourself. This stuff here has nothing to do really with that except I'm showing it as an example of why Himalayan salt is pink. It's pink because of the sand and grit in it. Iron. Iron. So the, that grit, when I let the water evaporate, then you, you take your finger and stick it in that sand, put it in your mouth and grit it between your teeth and you will see it is sand. <laughs> it's very, very fine sand. Okay, this kind of got long, but that's, that's it. So your trace chemicals and minerals, is part of it is sand, a lot of it is sand, and also this, this stuff here now that is the salt dissolved also has chemicals in it, in the water. But the salt itself, if you let that salt dry, if you save this and let it dry, it will be pure white salt, like salt is supposed to be. There you go. That's, that's it. That's the facts.